Hello and welcome to my newest video. Last time we talked about the tails for Ari and today we're gonna talk about the whole costume. First I will list all the materials we're gonna use and then we're gonna focus on each part of the costume. Let's start with fabric first. For the main part of the kimono I bought white fabric about 2 meters. It's non-stretch fabric. I also used 1 meter of turquoise satin for kimono hems and bows half of a meter of pink fabric that was non-stretchy for kimono details, half of a meter of royal blue and half of a meter of purple blue for bows, fake fur for ears, about 2 meters for the tails but we talked about them, and just little pieces for the ears, 3 meters of interfacing for sleeve details, leg wrappers, bows and kimono hem, and half of a meter of gold stretchy fabric for details on leg wrappers, choker and kimono. Some other materials were blue ribbons for head accessory, blue cord for butterfly on choker, light pink cord for obi and dark pink cord for different accessories and shoes. I also bought shoes that I painted. Then we need some acrylic and fabric paint, mainly pink, black and blue, and some other materials like scissors, threads, palette, brushes, fur trimmer and so on. Let's start with the ears. I made them according to Kimpatsu and Shopee tutorial, so I won't show you the whole process and I will link the tutorials in the description. Here is small slideshow from my progress. First I cut the ears making sure not to cut the first hair as well, then I took two parts from different sides and painted them with watered down acrylic paint. The whole process is described in my previous video so maybe watch it if you want to work with fur. I glued wire to EVA foam and then sandwiched it between two pieces. I trimmed then the fur with fur trimmer and shaded them with dry pastels. I somehow styled the fur with glue and hair gel so the hot glue on the sides would not show. Then I wrapped the wire around the headband, which <laughs> was the worst decision I ever made because I already broke two headbands on this, so I decided to use the clips instead. Head accessories are very easy. I just folded and glued the ribbon together. However, I needed then to sew it somehow and I sewed the bells on and glued it on crocodile clips and shaped the edges and sealed it with glue, so that was it. Working on this wig was fairly simple since I bought a wig that was specially made for Ari and it already had the right color, but I was not satisfied with the overall shape and the amount of hair in the bangs. The wig came with two ears which consisted of those wefts, so I ripped them apart and used these wefts for the bangs. I sectioned the wig, then I sprayed the hair close to the net with water, crimped it and waited a few seconds till it cooled and then I took a comb and teased it. You can use teasing comb but I found out that regular comb just works better for me. I sprayed it with hairspray and steamed it so it would hold its shape and then I gradually continued my way higher and higher. I ended up with like half of the wick that was teased because I wanted the outmost layers to be very smooth and to cover all the teased sections so I was not teasing the last few layers. I did the whole process for the bangs as well, the teasing is really important. After I was done with that I ironed a few pieces on the top to make them smooth again and I sprayed the whole thing with hairspray and I steam it. If there's one thing from this video you should take as a tip, then it's the fact that the steamer is the best thing for a cosplayer. So for the neck piece I took measurements of my neck and the neck of my head mannequin and they were same, so I just took foil and duct tape to make a pattern. I drew like only half of the what I wanted, then I cut it out and traced it onto paper and then I cut all the pieces twice from the fashion fabric except for the first one which was cut on foil. I cut them all also from interfacing and I also combined few pieces to make lining. Then I created pattern for golden pieces, I cut it from the EVA foam, covered it in gold stretchy fabric like spandex. The last step was sewing on two pairs of hook and eye and this is it for the choke. The butterfly was made using turquoise cord as you can see, I also added one bead to make it more beautiful. 
the kimono was the most tedious and difficult part of the whole cosplay, obviously. For the pattern, I bought one from Anne Costumery since it also included the instruction. You can buy hers as well or buy from someone else or make your own pattern using duct tape method or draping or anything. Since I bought the pattern, I'm not gonna show it to you. However, I decided to make my own modifications and I'm gonna talk about them. So I made the pattern, cut the pieces from the fabric, ironed them, searched the edges, sewed them together and then I sewed the upper sleeves. Now we're talking about the blue line on kimono. I measured the outsides of the kimono so I know the length and I just cut one long rectangle that is folded and is interfaced from the bottom. For pointy shoulders, I recommend you to cut the rectangle slightly longer and then connect the two pieces on 90 degrees to make it very very sharp. I recommend you to cut it like a bio safe since the kimono is kinda curved. I was very lucky to find the surprise fabric on its own, but I wanted to decorate it slightly. So I bought a sticker and used it as a stencil and I painted over it. For the dark blue hems, they were representing the Nakajuban. I guess I cut two rectangles for each side, it was four pieces in total. I inserted a gold hem between them, then I connected both sides and hand stitched it onto the kimono. Last but not least, the sleeves. I had three ideas for the sleeves. First one was using vinyl, but that would took too long to arrive. Second one was painting it, but it stiffened the fabric so much, so I had to use the third option, and that was sewing it on like an applique. So first I made paper pattern, then I ironed on interfacing onto pink and turquoise fabric separately. Then I cut all the pieces of the pattern, traced it and cut it from the fabric. And now let's work in the layers. The zero layer was just white fabric. Then I took fabric spray paint and painted the gradient on the sleeves. It's not as even as I wanted it to be, so maybe try soaking the fabric, it would help. The next part was adding blue parts and then I sat in stitching on. Then I took pink parts, blue decoration. And now for the pink clouds. First I made a paper pattern, then I traced it onto the felt, cut it and everything shaded with dry pastels. Since the dry pastels are very stainy, I recommend you to seal them with some kind of varnish. I used hairspray for this. Then I was able to connect the upper sleeves with golden details and few ribbons. Then sew the sleeves together and last thing I added the clouds with hot glue to make them float. For Obi, I saw people making structured belts that fit them perfectly, but I wanted mine to resemble Obi as much as possible. So I cut three rectangles. First one was fashion fabric that got interfaced, then one was from bedding, which is the brown part, and the last one for lining. First I used basting stitch to connect bedding to the fabric layer, then I put right sides together, sew it like a sandwich, sew it right side out, and that's it for the Obi. I made the flower from the felt, and the cord part is just connected with hand stitches. Oh, and for the center applique, I cut a long rectangle of turquoise fabric that got interfaced, then I used zigzag stitch to sew on the pink cord, then I added uh, two velvet ribbons on the sides and then just connected to the main piece by hand sewing. Obi closes on velcro tape. Obi accessories. Hmm. Can Riot please set on one reference picture, please? The splash art has a bow, like a real bow. This art has some kind of butterfly bow, and the 3D model appears to have two bows sewn into one. I hate that. Anyway, I drew this weird shape, cut it out, ironed on interfacing, painted the front side the same way I did for the part on the kimono, and I sewed it together, found out it looks bad, made another one, find out that one looks even worse, cry, and forget about it. For the other ribbons, I drew random shape, cut it the wrong way since the white part should be connected, overlock the edges, add interfacing, sew on ribbons, connect to pieces, add stuffing, iron, glue on obi. Repeat same steps for the each of the other three parts. And now for my next nightmare, the tights. 
My auntie gave me these tights and from the moment I knew I would use them for this cosplay. So for the basic shape, I put them on and drew on the lines, I cut it and searched the edges, then I made pattern for the golden details on top of it. I cut the shape out of golden stretchy fabric, cut it from EVA foam, combined these two together, sewed it on the sides and then connected it to the tights. And I painted the details with the fabric paint. It looked horrible, so I made another two attempts. The blue warmers were a little tricky. I wanted to really make them as wrapping, but with it interfacing, the shape was not very flattering and I took my old shoe covers from Mitsukina Se Idol cosplay and I created this one as just one single piece that simulated the wrapping by the golden details. I just glued those on and added this fancy accessory to hide some mistakes to make it even prettier. If you are searching for a new word to learn, it's tabi. These are the Japanese socks and I believe they belong to their traditional clothing. Make the pattern out of your socks, transfer it onto fabric, cut it, you can overlock the seams but this fabric does not fray, so I skipped this step. Sew it on the heel and then together. Pretty easy, huh? Just zigzag the top hem and you are free to feel like geisha. I'm gonna lie, this is my favorite part of the costume. I will link in the description the tutorial I used for this. I can see the end of the tunnel, it's the shoes. I bought these shoes in Vietnam like 6 years ago and they were chilling in my closet since, so I finally had another reason to wear them. I painted them black with acrylic paint and you never guess what. I used clear nail polish to make them shiny. Then I glued on the pink straps that I found and dark pink and light cord. I used for all the accessories and glued on some butterfly beads and then I replaced them like three times because of the glue and then I had to hand stitch it. Guess who forgot about the orb? I just bought a plain acrylic sphere, sanded it, then painted the blue lines and white lines on the insides at some fairy light and that was it. Yeah, but this is it for the Ari. I love and hate this costume at the same time. It was long journey but yeah we are in the finishing line thanks for watching and bye